DC vibe, so we'll go ahead and go in and do it now. Alright, so what I didn't realize at the time when I was doing this demo was that they wouldn't let us film the actual game that I'm playing. So, I won't rely on the audio very much that we use during the filming, but know that this is a really super exciting demo. So, just a quick little background on the HTC Vive. The Vive is a VR headset that's built in partnership with Valve, who is famous for Steam, Half-Life, Portal, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress, all sorts of amazing things. Oh, Left 4 Dead, how could I forget that? Basically, lots and lots of classic games. Valve is an amazing development studio. So, the development prowess at Valve has come together with the hardware prowess at HTC and have crafted a truly incredible piece of hardware here. So, I've already used the Oculus Rift before. I've used the first and the second development kits. They're very, very impressive units, but nothing had quite prepared me for exactly what I was going to experience here. So, first things first, this feels very similar to a Oculus Rift. If you've used an Oculus Rift before, if you've used Samsung's version of it, basically it's a very comfortable little headset. It goes in your head via straps. It has a bunch of cords attached to it, unlike the Samsung one, I suppose, which is more portable. That would be the biggest downside here. The upside, though, is that the front of it has a ton of little sensors that are going to see the room, and you have two controllers that it can see as well. So, We'll see here in a second, I'll let the audio play through while I do this little demonstration. Okay, this is, this is ridiculously amazing. Okay. Alright, so the, uh, the level of interaction here is pretty crazy. Having both these and, and both hands is really kind of surreal because it definitely feels like I'm in this right now. Alright, so both of these act like your hands in the game. They have three buttons on the front, so sort of like a Wii remote if you've ever used that. You have one uh, large clicky button that also acts as a trackpad in each hand. And below that trackpad are two different sized buttons, so you'll be able to feel them without having to worry about it too much. On the back are some triggers, and of course on the top are all the sensors so that the headset can see it. Without getting too much into the technology, basically this views the whole room around you and it creates a virtual grid. So you won't run into walls, you won't run into other objects as long as you're not moving too fast of course. It actually does pop up this grid within the game itself and it's pretty cool how it does it. So the first demo that they gave me was a sea demo where you're on a sunken ship. You can see all around different things. The second demo I actually thought was even cooler because while the first demo was really super immersive and you got to see things, it felt more like you were sort of standing still while things happen around you. The second demo was like a Warhammer table, if you've ever played the Warhammer tabletop game, where you had a bunch of little army units fighting each other, you had a castle and a battlefield. I could actually duck, look under, the, the freedom of movement was absolutely surreal. It felt like I was actually in the world. Um, again, unlike some of the Oculus demos that I've used in the past, and this may be considerably improved in the final Oculus hardware, but for now, the Vive is absolutely the most spectacular VR piece of hardware that I have used. So the immersion in this world is really, really something incredible. Um, the second demo that they have here is, I'm sorry, this is the third demo, is actually a kitchen. So they have me in a kitchen, and you can look around, there's a counter, and a fridge, and another counter, and a microwave, and chopping boards, and knives, and all kinds of things you can grab. I was actually able to grab a knife off the top, chop up some carrots on the board, which actually broke the knife funny enough, thanks, thanks Valve for the comedy physics here. I could also open the fridge, grab vegetables at it, and throw it in the pot. So you see me, I'm literally grabbing it and throwing it in the pot here. I feel like I'm doing this in real life. It's so accurate to how you're moving that it doesn't feel any different from being in the real world, I suppose, if you will. In general, the, the, the movement was just, I really can't stress how surreal and amazing it was. The next demo that they showed me was a light painting demo. So at first, it just sort of looked like a 3D MS Paint or maybe something like that. The left controller you hold up and it has a cube that you spin around and you select with the right controller acts as a pointer. Again, sort of like a Wii remote if you've ever used that. I'm sure you have out there. You select your paint, your colors, all sorts of things from this and you can actually paint 3D structures. You can actually walk around this too. This is, uh, this is kind of trippy. Maybe like, let's see if I can make like a tree or something. 
Alright, so my tree wasn't great because I picked the wrong colors. I was trying to hurry up in the demo because every section is timed. And it's not like you have a ton of time. But you can actually draw 3D objects. They look very neon and sort of holography and I guess very Tron-like. But being able to walk around the objects that you paint was, again, really surreal, super cool. The freedom of movement is just absolutely amazing on this thing. It really shows how far in development this unit is and how well this is done. You can also see by how quickly I'm drawing how accurate the movement on this thing is too. So it's not like you're going to be sitting there retracing your steps, trying to do something else again. This works like it should. It feels like it should. It is incredible. I just, I, I cannot stop gushing about how good this hardware was. So the last demo, of course, was Valve's infamous Portal. I'm sure just about everybody has at least heard of, or at the very least played, either Portal 1 or 2. This is not actually a full Portal game. It's more of just using Portal's universe. You have GLaDOS. She's got her great little humor in there. Of course, you open a drawer and there's a deteriorating cake in there that's got flies and mold and all kinds of lovely stuff all over it. This is a really cool little demo. It had a little robot come out. You had to fix the robot. Of course, I'm not even sure you can actually fix the robot. They give you these crazy instructions. The level of detail, though, in this was really impressive. A lot of VR demonstrations rely on pretty low details to keep that frame rate high. This was actually using some of the latest NVIDIA graphics cards, and it kept the detail super high while still keeping that 90 hertz refresh rate, which equates to 90 frames a second to keep the experience super smooth. So what's important here is that not only the refresh rate is very high, it doesn't give you motion sickness, it keeps things super smooth, it really tricks your brain into thinking this is real life. Plus, the lenses that they used were really wide angle lenses. I could not see the head enclosure at all, which again is really important for sucking you into the universe of this thing. So in general, I'm super excited for the launch. I'm kind of afraid of the price because this was so good. I'm sure this is going to be quite a few hundred dollars when it comes out. But this is something that I definitely, definitely want to get my hands on. And I really hope they make this more affordable because this, to me, is the ultimate VR experience. And I came away ultra impressed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry we couldn't show you more of the actual demo that I was playing. Again, HTC and Valve would not let us film that. Maybe eventually they'll release that video, but for now, this is probably the best we can do. We hope we can bring you some more Vive stuff in the future. Thanks for watching. Until next time.